boys, this is Coach Andy Traitley, and we're going to review a new offensive play for box lacrosse. Uh, I call this screen down play. It involves a wing switch on the perimeter passing, but wing switches on perimeter passing is something we want to do all the time. So let's go over that first. Uh, the ball is orange, and it's here with player four. So uh, the reference system that I like to use is um, one, two, and three across the uh, restraining line. We call uh, this the left corner, player one. Player three is at the right corner. Player two I just call top center. This is the left wing and this is the right wing. Uh, and so we are in a 3-2 formation right now, three across the top and two down along goal line extended. Now when the pass comes up from player four to player three, we want to make sure that we're following proper perimeter passing techniques. So player three might have to push in and then pop out in order to catch that pass safely. Same thing to player two. Player two is going to get the ball next. Player two might need to push in, pop out wide to get a safe pass from three. Now every time, this is where the swing, the wing switch comes into play. Every time a pass is made from the corner to the top center, I want a double wing switch. And here's what that looks like. So Player th the top corners are going to cut in to an inside position, and then they're going to pop out and replace on the low wings. The low wings are going to do the opposite. They're going to come to the same point, but on the outside uh, towards the boards, and then they're going to replace to the top corner, like this. So again, player three... Player three is going to cut down in here. Player four is going to meet. They should meet here. These are not picks. It's just constant movement. Player four comes up and replaces three at the corner. Three replaces four on the wing. Opposite over here. Player one cuts down and in. At the same time, player five cuts down or cuts up and in. Player five continues out to the corner. Player one replaces down on the wing. Remember, that should happen every time the ball is passed from a corner to the top center. And it should happen quickly, and it should happen while the ball is in the air. So we're going to do it again. So let's say player four has the ball. While the ball is in the air, heading towards player two, four is going to cut down and in. Three is going to meet there and pop out. Four is going to replace on the wing. Five cuts down and in. One cuts up and in. They meet in the middle. One continues out to the corner. Five replaces at the wing. And then player two has the ball. So that is the double wing switch. Now I'm going to erase these arrows and we're going to talk about the actual play. Now the play is a simple screen down and the way it works is the corners uh, we're going to show going to the uh, to the right uh, or I'm sorry uh, to the left here uh, towards player one and player five but what's going to happen is the ball side corner is going to set a screen and the ball side wing is going to end up with the ball and come up over the screen and look for a shot. On the opposite side we're going to have a double pick from the corner and the top center and player four is going to pop up and over that pick. So here's the way it looks. So including the double wing switch while the ball is in the air from player three to two, so the ball's halfway there, we're going to do our double wing switch. Three is cutting in, four is meeting three here, but staying on the outside, four pops out and replaces, three replaces four at the wing, one cuts in, five comes up and meets, uh, staying on the outside, replaces at the corner, one replaces at the wing. Now the ball has got to player two, player two is going to immediately pass over to player five. Player 5 is going to immediately pass down. Oh no, let's hold here. While the ball is in the air, from player 2 to 5, that is when we want player 2 to start heading down to set this pick. And we want player 4 coming over to set a double pick. Now the ball has arrived 
with player 5. At that point, player 2 is down here on a double pick with player 4. Player 5 immediately catches and passes down to player 1. While the ball is in the air between 5 and 1, player 5 comes in and sets a screen. Now, a screen is not a pick. We've gone over that in practice, and we'll continue to review that, but it is a screen. Ball is caught by player 1. Player 1 is then going to carry. Well, let's show player 5 has come down and set the screen. Player 1 is going to drive up over the screen and look for a shot. So with the ball, player 1 is going to carry up over player 5. Now, as soon as player 1 gets past player 5, if the shot is open, we want to take that shot. In the meantime, while player 1 is carrying the ball up over, player 3 is going to cut up over this double pick. And if, when player 3 is right here, if player 1 gets up over the screen and the shot is not open, player 1 should then look to make a pass across to player 3 at which point player three may get a shot coming off of the double pick. Now, if neither of those are there, then the smart thing to do is say the pass came across to player three and there's nothing there. Player three should pull out, come back up to top center, at which point everyone else gets back into position. It doesn't matter who goes where. Just get to the nearest spot, so we're back into our 3-2 position. And then we start back over. So without showing the arrows, I'll go through the play again. Now, player three has the ball. Let's say player three passes over to player four. Player four passes right back to player three. Now, while the ball is in the air, what do we do? Double switch. Four and two. Run a wing switch. One and five. Run a wing switch. Now, three has caught the ball. Let's say three passes right back to two. Now we're running our play. So three goes over and sets a double pick with five opposite side of the ball. Two passes immediately down to one and sets a screen. Four carries up over that screen. And while four is doing that, one is coming up over this double pick. Four is either looking for this shot or pass across to one who then takes a shot. Or, if none of those things are there, it is okay for four to pull the ball back out. And again, everyone has to reset. So let's say two comes up here. One is going to go over there. Three comes up to the corner. Five goes down to the wing. Now we're back in formation, and we run it all over again. All right, boys. I look forward to seeing this in action.